What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house and I haven't done one of these videos in a long time So I just felt like it was it was just time. Uh, this is gonna be a manga haul video It's just gonna be sh I'm just gonna be showing off some of the manga that I've bought over the last few months and stuff Because if you don't notice like the collection does grow every so often and all that so I just want to show off some of them uh, some of these titles you have already seen, but uh, I just wanted to show them off. Uh, if you haven't seen my other ma manga recommendation videos, they'll be up somewhere in the title and the description. Playlist will be in, a, in, in it as well. But let's jump straight off to it. Now, this one is technically not a manga. Uh, it's a book. I'm not really going to read it. It's more of a prop, but I bought the Monster Girls Encyclopedia. Let me see. Yeah. I bought Monster Girls Encyclopedia Volume 2. Uh, they have volume one there, but I heard that this was the better one out of the two. I'm going to buy the first volume, but, you know, like I said, I'm not really going to read it, and I definitely can't really show anything that is in it. Oh, well, yeah. You know, it's just an encyclopedia on Monster Girls and stuff, and it, it goes, like, crazy in-depth about it. Like I said, it's more just for a prop, especially for, like, when I do my uh, Entry Species Reviewer uh reactions with my homie Jay Meister and hopefully other guests and all that those will be out soon if you want to get them quicker uh if you want to get those if you want to see me react to those quicker and uncut and everything patreon is down below that's just there oh that is very rude uh, anywho put that on silent but yeah uh, so yeah, that, that's Monster Girls, Monster Girls Encyclopedia Volume 2. Like I said, I'm not really going to read it. It's just more of a prop gag thing. I might read a page or two or there, but yeah. The next one that I got a lot of is this. I already did it. Like I said, you've already seen this one on my channel before. It's Murcia Lago. Let me get my name up hand off the name and all that junk mercy lago last time when i did when i did the manga recommendation for that um i believe yeah only i only had up to volume 10 now right now and i waited i waited a long while and now i got 11 12 and 13 14 is going to be out later this year i'm going to purchase it but if you don't know uh quick synopsis on the story of mercy lago it is about a uh, is about our main character is a female her name is Kuroko Kur uh, Kumori she is the ex uh, serial killer she has well known over 700 bodies underneath her belt uh, before they apprehended her or before she turned herself in it's ongoing mystery the plot is it's not the it's not the craziest plot in the world you're not going to get anything out of it along the lines of promise neverland or steins gate or anything but there is a quite a bit of etchy in it yuri for the most part um and because our, our our main our main uh protagonist loves loves the women ladies and all that i do too so yeah like i said it's 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 just more of an etchy uh mystery title and i'm not that hard to please like i said i like reading my you know my not, it's not trashy but you know it's like i really like reading etchy straightforward plot just me then one uh also so this is new and this is funny because i've been noticing a lot of the stuff that i've been purchasing is starting to get its own anime series like uh, last there was there was a, a manga recommendation slash first anime impression i did it was called it's called valkyrie love but on the title but on the manga it says val love i remember seeing it in books a million i bought it and then like a month or two later i heard it was getting announced for an anime i haven't watched it yet and nor have i finished it because i have a thousand books but anywho that's it's just funny so this is also one of the titles like i said that i picked up and then it got its own anime later so this one is called sorcerer sorcerer stabber orphan i got the first two volumes and all that and everything i can't remember the plot so let me just read a quick synopsis for volume one he calls himself orphan a rogue sorcerer who has turned his back on the tower of fangs the powerful uh academy that trained him in those hollowed halls a terrible curse uh, fell upon his best friend azalee twisting her into a monstrous beast and the teacher and the teachers decided to simply uh, cover it up so yeah now i remember so he's basically searching for a way to turn his best friend back into a human being uh he you know but in order to do that he has to go pretty much go against the very people that taught him what he knows about magic and all that so yeah i finished i finished halfway through the first volume but then i got busy and i still got the second one to do so i'll pick that up at some other time but yeah um for the most part it this is kind of like a mystery uh a mystery uh magical uh series i mean like i said the 
I don't know how deep the plot gets as it progresses. Uh, from what I remember, from when I read it, I was intrigued, but my the way my brain is like, I have a thousand things going on, and next, and I probably got busy now. Yeah, but that that is Sorcerer Stabber Orphan. Like I said, I got the first two volumes, but this next title that I'm gonna introduce, I haven't talked about it. Um, I might have mentioned it or so in like in a one previous manga re uh, recommendation video, but I'm not really too sure about it. But I also picked up the second volume of Monster Wrestling. Now, it's exactly how it sounds. It's a bunch of monster girls going around. And we're not going around. They are wrestling. They're in a league. You know, they like the WWE. I forget what they call their league in this uh, in this series. But I, I, I don't even know if I can show any of the panels in here. Um, mainly for the fact that these... The, this is this is etchy. This is like borderline. <laughs> this is borderline gentai for the most part, and I like that. I mean, I, that's just what I'm into. Um, I, I, I have as I've gotten older, my tastes have just grown and grown. Like I said, I can't. Really, I got the second volume. The set, first volume is sitting up there somewhere in that title. Um, it is about our main character. She is a Cerberus. Uh, she was pretty much a she was pretty much an orphan off the streets, and then the person that she looks up to in the story now found her and pretty much raised her to be uh, a wrestler. And she's pretty much trying to climb her way her way up to the top ranking spot, you know, to kind of repay the person that took her in and show her like, you know, you made a good choice in me. Uh, you know, you didn't waste your time picking me and all that. I mean, like I said, the story is straightforward. It, it, I mean, just a mat. If it, it, take out the monster girl and the etchy and the and the lots of Yuri that's in it, um, it's like any sports uh, manga. It's like you, the this main character has a goal they want to reach the top, and it's just us watching them reach the top. Like I said, it's, but like I said, it's very, <laughs> it's very saucy. And if if you if you watch my stuff then you will know that I like saucy, I like saucy manga, it's just what I am, I'm all about, I don't like censorship for the most part, so, like, stuff like this, like, I love it, and especially since it's like an obscure title, like, the only reason I even know about this is because literally I went to Books A Million, like, most of the stuff that I, I, most of the manga that I get is from Books A Million, some of them come from Right Stuff Anime, hey, if y'all are listening, shoot your boy a sponsorship, let's make a deal, let's talk about it, but yeah, Monster Girl, Monster, not Monster, Monster Wrestling. If you're into Monster Girls, you're into etchy, heavy etchy, then I would recommend it and all that. Now this is war. Now these, now the next two titles that I'm about to uh, introduce, these they're the last ones, but they're the most recent ones, and that's why. What this is what prompted me to do the the manga haul video that we're we're obviously doing right now. So the one of the two I got is Skeletonite in Another World. Um, I have not, I have not had a chance to actually read this yet, but it's, I've seen it around and I've just been wanting to buy it and just like one day I was like, I couldn't find any of the normal series that I purchased like Mercy and Lago, I'm caught up on it. So I was like, okay, so now I can buy some of the other titles that were caught my interest in this is one of them. So for the most part, um, for what I've heard about it, if you are familiar with Overlord, the, whether you read the light novel, the manga, or you watch the anime i i'm going to start reading the manga for overlord um i don't know about the light novel because i have other light novels that i need to finish and i don't want to buy new ones because those will eventually those will just get left on the shelf and i don't i don't want that i want to read all the stuff that i actually own um so yeah for the most part our protagonist he wakes up in he wakes up in a version of the mmorpg that he has been playing he is a knight obviously but the catch is um that while he was playing one day, he put like a skeleton skin over his character. And when he, I guess when he got pretty much isekai into it, uh, he still has that, he still has that skeleton face. So now I guess it's him, if he, from what I hear, he's overpowered because he's been playing the game a lot and all that. But, you know, it's just him trying to make his way. I know there's a dark, I know one of his companions ends up being a dark elf. Uh, I'm with it. But let me let me read the synopsis from the bag and you know, we'll see. So one day, Ark, that's his name, wakes up in the world of the, of his favorite MMORPG and he discovers that he has become exactly like his game character, Heroic Knight who just happens to be a skeleton. The whole skeleton of for a head thing may be going, may be going to be a problem. Ark uh, 
resolves to keep a low profile lest anyone mistake him for a monster but can't quite manage to do so so yeah like i said i have the first there are only two volumes out of the manga i think there are five volumes out right now for the uh for the light novel and all that i think you can purchase the light novel no, no i think the i think you can pre-order the fifth one if i'm not mistaken and all that but yeah also so the one now this is the one that I picked up that caught my interest a while back, but I just I had other uh, series that I wanted to pick up, and that is let me see let me, let me get the first volume here. That is the Dun the Dungeon of Black Company. Now I had I just finished the second volume today, you know, and I'm loving it so far. But let me let me get a quick synopsis going on for you. So the main character, his name is Kenji. Um, he is a neat. Uh, but he but the thing about him he's not your normal average neat from a very young age he has not he did not want to work such as a neat a neat wants to stay in their house playing video games reading manga or whatever it is that you know um that interests him it doesn't necessarily have to be video games manga and etc and all that it's just a neat is a person that doesn't like to go outside of their home and all that if i'm correct i'll probably have the definition of but kenji ends up being isekai to another realm not oh uh, now, let, now let me let me further explain so like i said kenji is a neat but kenji is a very wealthy neat from a very young age he learned he learned how to save his money and he learned how to invest and by the time he was i think he's like 20 by the time he was like 21 or 22 he 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 is a billionaire he's so he's a neat like i said but he's rich he got buku money like he has enough money to where he doesn't have to work another day in his life if he doesn't want to, and he doesn't. He he has a very nice swanky, uh, top of the line smart uh, apartment or whatever, and you know he just makes he pretty much makes money while he's sitting down because he know he knew how to invest his money and all that. So, but also you got to realize that Kenji is not you know a typical nice guy like the typical isekai protagonist like oh I want to help people and no Ken. The, they try they do their best to make you hate Kenji and for the most part you will I mean he hasn't technically redeemed himself since I finished volume 2 but he you know he start he's growing on me a lot more now because he's starting because I feel like the stuff that's going around him is changing him gradually but for the most part he is a sleazeball he's a scumbag he is a shark uh, he takes advantage of every opportunity he can. So when he gets isekai into this world, it's funny because it's the same thing in this world, but except there's a company, I can't remember the name, I can't pronounce the name of it. That's the biggest problem. I, I wish, I'm learn how later, but when he gets dropped off to this new world, he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know the language. He doesn't know how to read it, any of that. And it's, uh, it's pretty much like your typical fantasy world. You know, you got demi humans, and you know you know like you got you got uh lizard men walking around and all that junk so in order to so in order to uh so kenji gets put there and he ends up pretty much getting swindled like he does other people and he ends up owing a huge and massive debt so in this world if you owe a debt and you can't find a job they will put you in this company that that mines dungeons they you know they sent they send people in ahead to take care of the monsters and they send crews to go pick up the monster materials and other stuff that they might find mostly they look for magical crystals or mana crystals called demonite and all that and everything so but kenji ends up working for this company and he ends up doing the very thing that he did to other people when he was in the regular human world he exploits them he makes them work all day they work terrible hours they get low pay the living conditions are atrocious and <laughs> That is now our boy Kenji. But being the person that he is, he refuses to live life that way. So he comes up, he comes up with very various get rich quick schemes, and most of them end up failing. But one day he ends up finding a path to uh, a lo the lower part of the dungeon that he's in. But he ends up running across the I wouldn't call her the female protagonist, but she she is very prominent in it because even though even though we don't see her that much, we don't get that uh, we get very little backstory on her. Even like with volume two, they're starting to open up on her more. But her name is Rim. Rim is, from what I can tell, she is a dragon who is able to morph. And when we first meet her, she morphs into. 
kind of like a lolly or whatever, but she can change her shape because even because in volume two, she changes her shape to um to more of like an adult, like an adult female. So she can change her form of will. Her no her original form is this dragon. And the thing about it is Kenji struck up a deal with her. He's told her because Rim's whole deal is she is tired of eating monsters in the dungeon. She wants more tasty food. So Kenji strikes up a deal with her. He's like, in exchange for not eating me and helping me out with gathering materials so I can get some money in my life, I will feed you actual food, like real food, like you know, gourmet food and all that, and they strike up a deal. And that's pretty much what happens forward on. Like I said, and I've only finished volume two, but I do have the first four volumes. And volume five is stated to come out uh, in May uh, right now. So as of the time of me recording this video, uh, I think the fifth volume of the manga is supposed to drop on the 26th of May, 2020. Um, I'm going, I've already, I don't have a pre-order yet. I'm going to, cause I am very interested. And also the thing is with me, even if I don't read a series, like I'm still going to complete this. Like all these books that you, all these mangas and light novels that you see back there that you see in my setup, I'm going to, I'm going to buy the complete set as long as they're running or until they're complete, I'm going to buy it. That's just me. I, I want to be a completionist when it comes to my manga and all that. But yeah, those are the, um, those are the mangas that I picked up in the last few months. Um, I would recommend, besides Monster Girl Encyclopedia, not just that you shouldn't read it. I mean, if you want to, go ahead. It's uh, It was 30 bucks or whatever. Both the first and second volumes are $30, but you know. But um, I would recommend all of these. If you're really into like etchy and all that, then I would recommend the Monster Wrestling. They got two volumes out. The third volume is coming out soon i'm going to pre-order i'm going to purchase that um and if you just want something that's not that's not too complicated uh but has like a bit it's a fun read i would recommend the dungeon black company and all that and everything but yeah this video is already way longer than i thought it was going to be so yeah if there are any manga series that you would like me to check out you know or that you uh think that might interest me do so leave it leave it down below in the comments or you can come in the discord and you know chill out with everyone else and you know talk about it and everything but yeah th those that's what i picked up um i'm going to go in more in depth on each one of these titles i don't know about monster wrestling because like i said it's straightforward and i mean it's etchy it's etchy yuri i'm just i mean i'm into a lot of things i mean it's not it's not for everyone but i mean it is what it is but yeah so definitely look out for videos on for dungeon black company and skeleton Knight. i'm going to try and catch up with those so i can drop videos for them but guys um like i said if you have any uh titles that you think that might interest me just know that there's not really too much that doesn't interest me as long as i'm entertained then i'm happy i can't really ask for more for more than that uh but yeah guys uh i hope you enjoyed this video uh like i said be on the lookout for these road to 1k and with all that being said i'm i'm done talking <laughs>